today I'm going to show you how to make this very cute bandana for your pet, for your dog. This is Elmo's bandana made out of my favorite fabric. And I'm going to show you how to make it in just a few quick short seconds. Well, hey everybody. Today we're going to make a really cute project. This is a very simple, easy to do project. It's a little handkerchief, a little necktie, little tie-on thing for your dog. Um, I had some fabric scraps left over. And this is my favorite color fabric. And my dog Elmo, when he goes to the vet, they often, or the groomers, they often send him home with these little bandanas. And that's cool. But I, since I had some scraps left over, I decided I would make him one. And another reason for me showing you this particular video today is how to use a special little tool on your sewing machine. So first, I just laid out one of his uh, n normal bandanas and just cut it, used it as a pattern. Then I cut another piece. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, with my iron, I'm gonna turn it over because I wanna make a little edge, a little hem. And I'm just gonna take the iron and just iron a tiny wee bit all the way across because you're gonna see what magic we're gonna make with this in a few minutes. So you gotta be careful making these little seams that you don't burn yourself. And we're just gonna do that. It doesn't have to be exacting because this is for a dog after all, and I'm sure he won't complain. But once again, anytime you're making something, just take your time. You know, you're, you're making it. You're not just running into the store and buying something that's already been made. You're, you're taking your time and your energy and you're making something special for somebody you love. In this case, it's going to be my dog Elmo today. So I didn't cut this exactly as straight as I should have, but it's okay. I'm sure he won't complain. So that's that second side, so let's do this side. This is about a quarter of an inch seam, I would guess. So just gonna do this one. Oops. There, okay. So now you've made these little seams, these little seam pockets. Hope you can see that right there. Cause you're gonna need that in our next step. Okay, so today, in order to make this next project, we're going to use this little rolled hem foot. Um, now, make sure you put it on correctly and have your machine threaded, and then you're just going to run your fabric through that, and it's going to make an awesome hem. It's going to make your garment, whatever you're making, look so professional. Okay, let's see if I can do this. It's always hard with the camera in the way. Um, I have seen some videos on the internet. There's a lot of people that are way better at this than I am, but I'm just going to show you what I do. So I'm just going to let the fabric just slide right in there because you want to make a couple of stitches first. Just a few stitches to hold it in place. Okay, now what you want to do, and I sure hope you can see this, is you just want to thread the fabric through that little, that little lip in your, your uh, presser foot here, your rolled hem presser foot. And these things are really nifty. They take a lot of the work, they make a lot of the sewing work easier for you. And I'm just going real slow here. I'm using my other machine and sewing machine. As you can tell, it's really a quiet machine. I love it. So I'm just going to keep sewing. Oops. Okay. Go a little faster. Let that go through there. Uh, 
keep it straight. And I'm almost out of thread in my bobbin. I shouldn't have started this, but I, I was so excited about this. I just wanted to let you see it and how to do it yourself. Because that's always kind of been a drawback for me with sewing. Is being able to make, to take what you make and make it look professionally done. That can be a little hard sometimes. I certainly want to advise you to invest uh, in a really good sewing machine. I mean, start out with the inexpensive sewing machine at first. But as you progress in your sewing skills, you're going to see. You're going to want something. Oops, and of course it slipped out there. You're going to see you're going to want something. You're going to want to upgrade your sewing machine eventually. That's what I did. And it's hard, I know. Times are tough parting with the money, but... It'll be worth it if you save up for it a little bit at a time, and you'll be fine. Okay, we got that first edge done. Now, I'm going to... This, this machine has a really cool feature. I'm just going to press uh, this button right here, and it'll bring my needle up, and it'll also cut it for me. So then I just lift up my presser foot, and it's done. Okay. So, as you can see, as you continuously feed the fabric through the, um, the little feed dog foot there, your hem looks so great and so professionally done. So, just take your time and keep going. Oh, I, like I said, I was about to run out of thread with this bobbin. Let me see if I can at least finish this edge. It's going to keep beeping at me, letting me know that, I know, I'm almost done, come on. And see what happens when you rush? Okay, time to change the bobbin thread. It's funny how I honestly can't even begin to tell you how much I love my new sewing machine. This is not really a new sewing machine, so let me just be real truthful here. This is a sewing machine, my brother uh, sewing machine, that I've had for a while, but I only use it for embroidery. Um, but lately, I said I wasn't happy with some of the things I wanted to do with my old sewing machine, so I said, well, let me, let me, take, let me take out the embroidery machine, and we'll see what happens. I'll use it, and I'm ex very, very happy with the sewing capabilities that I've been able to come up with. And that was another reason why I wanted to show you how to make this little doggy scarf. And soon, I'll have this done in a few minutes, and we'll get Elmo to model it. But it's amazing what you can do with some of the technology. Oop, why am I getting stuck here? So we'll just cut that out. Okay, and today we have our model, Elmo. Hey, Elmo. Sit. Good boy. And we're going to have him model. Yes, we are. Oh, he was sleepy. His new doggy curtain bandana. This is the one we just made. And he is such a good dog. This dog loves to wear clothes. I'm not really sure why, but... He's really quite a little super trooper about it. So there you have it. You can make a very cute, adorable, and he's smelling it and looking at it, a little doggy kerchief. Oh, he always shakes. Sit, Elmo. Sit. Yes, you're a good boy. Yes, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. And that is today's Arts and Crafts Project, a very cute doggy bandana. Bye now.